Good morning, Twin Towers. Today is Monday, May 11th, and it is a C day. No, I'm just kidding, not a C day, but I hope you all had a, a great weekend, a very, very restful weekend, and you're ready to start a, another week of online learning. Before we begin, I want to just uh, shout out to all the mothers in the audience and wish you all a happy Mother's Day. I hope that your Sunday was filled with the love and appreciation that you uh, most certainly deserve. Um, so I want to talk briefly about something that Miss Adoma mentioned last week. Uh, she had mentioned five ways of being awesome uh, during this time. The first thing she mentioned was that you, you must log in to learn. And that got me thinking because at first glance, uh, it seems like that's just asking you to log into your Gmail account, log into Google Classroom, um, and that's really about it. But I think it means much more than that. And I think that the quote from Jim Elliott really exemplifies that. Uh, he says, wherever you are, be all there. So what does this mean? Uh, for me, it means being invested in your learning. Uh, it also means not, not to allow distractions to, to, to uh, disrupt you. And that when you're logged in, only focus on the lesson. And so logging in isn't just about putting your password and your username in. It's about being there and being active and participating. Um, it's especially challenging, I think, in this environment for a few reasons. Uh, one is that there just seems to be so many more distractions in our lives um, that we wouldn't have in school, whether it's Snapchat or Instagram or your siblings or Fortnite or any other, you know, bunch of different things that you could be doing besides your schoolwork. And it's really easy to focus on those and not your schoolwork. And the second thing I think is that when your teachers aren't there, it's harder to really um, invest yourself and to really focus. And so it's really up to you to take full advantage of all that great work and hard work that your teachers are putting in, uh, providing you with all that instruction. So speaking of students that have put in a lot of work and hard work and dedication, um, I want to uh, make a shout out to uh, a few students from uh, Twin Towers. Uh, their teachers um, really felt that they exemplified what it means to be present in their learning. They've gone above and beyond, they've participated, they've done a wonderful job. And so I want to read their names just to recognize and celebrate their successes so far uh, as we go through this online learning process. So um, we have from our sixth grade teams from at, uh, Mount St. Mary, we have Brazil S, Ryan A, and Marissa M. For Cortland, we have Alicia M and Jasmine G. From Albany, we have Brandon B and Haley R. From um, Penn State, we have Elinage O and Kenneth D. From Oneonta, we have Matthew H and Robert V. And then from Concordia, we have Caitlin E and Alessandra F. Uh, we also had a few uh, teachers want to shout out personally to some students they really felt, again, went above and beyond and were present in the online learning. Uh, Mrs. Ball and Mrs. Doucette want to recognize Tiffany D, Lucy M, and Jalen R. Mrs. Tobar and Mrs. Shalaba want to recognize Caden S, and Mrs. Cyper wants to recognize Emma A. Fantastic job to you all. I know um, you all have been working really hard, and we wanted to recognize that. We really do appreciate all that hard work. So, oops. so how can you be present in your learning? What does that mean? Yes, we talked about uh, being active, being present, being there, but there are specific ways that at least I like to use to help make sure that I'm being present um, as I'm engaging in my work. You know, as you notice, I'm not in my office right now, and so it's a little bit challenging sometimes for even myself to be present. So I was thinking about four different ways that we can be present um, during this time. The first is picking a secluded spot to do your work. Uh, for me, it happens to be in my daughter's room, away from some of the distractions like the TV um, and other things as well. The second is to make sure that when you're doing your work, you're not opening up tabs for un that's unrelated to your classwork. Uh, I know it's really easy to open up that Facebook tab or to uh, go Google something else. But by doing that, you're really taking away from being there 100% during your lessons. The third, which is a little more challenging, uh, is keeping your cell phone away from you while you work. In fact, my cell phone right now is not on my body at all. Uh, it's in the living room 
away. And so I'm not tempted to check my emails. I'm not tempted to check my messages or anything else. And I can really stay focused in what I'm doing. And then the fourth, uh, which is actually something that was, I didn't think was going to be uh, an issue until I started to look at some of the online classes. And that's turning your mics and videos on while you chat. Uh, when your video is uh, not on, it's easy to do other things, uh, look around, and not fully engage. Uh, but if you have your video on, uh, you get to have a much more authentic conversation. Uh, and if your mics are on, then you can, of course, communicate with your teachers and your peers. Uh, that's a really great way to stay motivated and to uh, be invested while you're participating in those WebEx or Google Meet uh, video chats. So those are four different ways that I like to do uh, to make sure that I'm present uh, when I'm doing my work. And I hope that you all can try some of these as we move on throughout the week and the rest of the school year. But I'm also interested, though, in not just what you know I think are good ways to be present, but also ways that you all think are good to be present, especially those whose uh, names I mentioned uh, a couple minutes ago. So please, if you have any ideas on how we can all stay present during this time, uh, share with us by posting a video on my Flipgrid. Uh, the link is right there, so flipgrid.com slash be present. And uh, on Wednesday, when Miss Adoma does her message, um, she can share some of those great tips that you all are providing. Um, hopefully, we can all work together to really uh, make sure that everyone uh, is staying engaged, being present, uh, and really taking full advantage of um, this online learning. Um, just a reminder, um, your teachers, myself, Ms. Adoma, and guidance are always available. So please reach out if you have any questions or concerns throughout the week. And I hope you all have a great midi week, and I will catch you all later.